Access Now is the Salesforce application that will improve your productivity and allow you to remain compliant while granting privileged access to your production org. With Access Now, enterprises no longer have to depend solely on system administrators to provide profiles and permission sets to users. Using its self-service feature, users can request pre-configured elevated profiles and permission sets at any time of the day and night. The Access Now requests can be automatically approved, granted and revoked after a predetermined amount of time with no system administrator involvement. This allows organizations to remain responsive and agile to issues that arise in normal day-to-day -day operations. Access Now provides more than the native audit trail. It produces logging of data and configuration changes grouped by your organization's incident management system number. This enables rich, quick and easy reporting. Now let's spend a couple of minutes reviewing Access Now. In the setup of Access Now, admins define which profiles or permission sets each user has access to. In this demo, we will log in as an IT developer who normally has read-only access in production. From the Request tab, click New. This is the main page for entering a new Access Now request. The reference number is a number that ties back to your incident management system. Input the reason for escalation in the text field. Next, select the duration, which is a configurable field based on your business needs. You can select the provision immediately option or elect to schedule the access for a later date and time. The section below shows all of the permission sets or profiles available for this user to request. When finished, select Save and Submit for Approval. This will follow any pre-configured standard Salesforce approval flows. In this case, the record is automatically set to Approved. The developer will get two emails. One email that shows that the request was approved, and another that shows that the request is in progress. After the request is in progress, we will just have a look at the profile of the user. This will show that the profile and permission sets have been modified appropriately to give this user the access needed for editing cases and managing users. The developer will now proceed with the configuration and data changes they needed to complete as part of this request. When finished, the user can go back to the Access Now request and manually revoke, or the system will automatically revoke when the time has elapsed. By selecting the request ID, the system admin can now see the audit log for configuration and data changes which are related to that request.